Living with disability is not a crime. It's not a disease. Some will even be saying that ah, two persons living with disability, how are they going to cope? When he asked me out, the first question I asked him was that, how will we cope? You are challenged and I'm challenged. And here we are today to the glory of God. God has given us a son. We waited for like two years. Ah, why we were waiting? Oh my God. People were like, is it because both of them, they are talented? That's why they are not being able to make babies. Is it because of this? Is it because of that? Is something wrong with our womb? Is something wrong with his spine? Could it be that he's not performing on bed? But God has been good. To the glory of God, I'm a married woman. I'm a challenged lady. I was being affected by polio at my during my toddler age. That I was sick. Then my parents took me to the hospital. Why we got there due to the tension, the temperature, and everything. The nurse couldn't hold hold what she was what she saw. That the state I was then. So she had to just rush me injection. By so doing, she, she mistakenly injected me on my muzzle. Fine, my parents did get to know of, of this. So as a result of that, I was taken back to the hospital. More injection was given, but it's, it's after some time, we find out that I couldn't walk with my two legs. And to the glory of God, my, my intellectual was so rapid. This encouraged my dad and he made up his mind to ensure that he sponsored me to any level I wanted. I gained my admission to Unilag. I finished well. I graduated there 2010. After my NYC, I tried getting another job and it was very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. Along the line, I got a job that was, was um, a contract job and i was being paid minus as in very as little as nothing after spending like five years being a contract staff i i, I reasoned that what could be the cause of this because i go to several organizations i turned down my cv but the the, the first physical appearance and and the discrimination and the way that continues that way i had to sit down and think that if this is the way it's going, then I have to go for my master degree. Maybe the master degree will give me more edge. We started in 2017. Due to strike, due to one issue or the other, we ended up in 2021. Since then, I've also been searching for a better job, better placement for my, for me to be able to earn a living, for me to be able to live a comfortable life, for me to be able to to be able to be a good mother to my child and be a good, a supportive us, uh, wife to my husband. But since then, I've not been able to get. I got married to my husband in 2019, April 27, precisely. We met in VRT, but I was on my way to stadium. I, I was training for table tennis then. I was the first person to go to, to enter the VRT. Then a guy came in. The guy in, uh, also, uh, was also on crutches like myself. The next thing I realized that the guy was trying to get my attention and I was like, hello. I'm talking about nine good years back. Initially, she, she declined. Her reasons then was that um, because we are both physically challenged and now with the two physically challenged people to live together, raise children and all that. But then I was trying to convince her that uh, we can we can do it. It's all about um, determination and our mindset. And in 2018, I proposed to her. I proposed to her. I let her see reasons why we can be together. Then she now give it a try. And to the glory of God, in 2019, we got wedded. And ever since then, we've been living together happily. I know what she can do. I know what I need to assist her on. So we've been coping, we've been helping each other on that and to the glory of God, here we are today, we are doing fine.